we have a fairly decent sized house but because we are a family of six it's a smaller space and so I have to come up with creative ideas on how to store certain items and how to kind of organize the space. So if you have a small space or a small house and you need creative ideas, some of them are unique and some of them are just, you know, run-of-the-mill ideas on how to organize, keep it organized, and how to store certain items, then I'm going to show you how I do that in my house. Okay, so the closets in our house have that little bank or lip area where it doesn't actually go all the way up to the ceiling so we have that little space that we can use either decoratively or functionally i choose to use them mainly for functional reasons because we don't have a lot of storage space in this house i need all the storage area that i can get i use the top of the closets in all the bedrooms as storage so up here in our bedroom let me go closer as you can see I'm using it as storage that suitcase over there serves dual purposes so it is a suitcase and we can utilize that whenever we need it to travel but I also store a lot of my kids baby clothes items and other like sentimental items and items of value that I don't want to part with I store in that suitcase I have our bedding that we got for our wedding. I have that stored up there and then I have that bag that I don't use anymore and I just store a lot of paperwork in that bag. So that is a great way to save on storage. I use um, storage vertically so that I'm not taking up a lot of space on the floor and that saves me a ton of room to put other things that I might need floor space for. So that's another idea and that's how I use storage in our small bedroom. Now another area where I actually use storage is under our bed. Now I try not to keep under our bed cluttered or full with a bunch of stuff but a few little items that fit under our bed that I use as storage I like to utilize this area. So Things are kept out of the way, you can't see them, and it's the perfect place to use um, as storage and to store certain items. So I have this under the bed storage organizer right here that I store all of our extra sweaters and scarves and stuff that we don't use on a daily basis that I don't need cluttering up the hanger. We have like a coat rack behind our door, but keeping all of this behind our door just really looked cluttered and it was just too much. So I put a lot of our extra sweaters and scarves and stuff that we don't use on a daily basis right here under this storage organizer under our bed. We also have another suitcase under here. Again, dual purpose. If we need it for travel, it's there. But I also store a lot of my husband's not daily use electronics and stuff like that. And I also utilize that to store Christmas stuff. So that's another idea. And then we have another suitcase right here that I used to store my husband's um, unmentionables because we don't have a dresser in our bedroom because our bedroom is so small it doesn't fit a dresser. So we need that um, area to store his items. So that is what I store under our bed. And there's still a ton of space under our bed for... Um, just if the kids, the kids like playing under the bed and for other items if we need it. So that's another idea. Utilize the storage under your bed to store items. It keeps it out of the way. It's unseen. Keep it neat though. Don't just chuck stuff under there and leave it like all cluttered. Keep it neat and it's a great way to store extra items. So this is a closet in my eight-year-old son's room and I pretty much, I cleared this closet off and got rid of a ton of stuff that we didn't really need to be storing. And so up there, it's not cluttered. It's not a lot of stuff. It's not an eyesore. And then of course, I also use it decoratively. He has a couple of dinosaur cutouts up there that he can use whenever he, like we used it for his birthday party and then we just store them up there out of the way. In my daughter's bedroom, I do utilize the top of her closet a lot more because it just worked out that it just 
was a place that I could store a lot more. So up here, I have a lot of our gift bags, our reuse gift bags that we get um, birthday presents in so that I don't have to be spending money on gift bags. I have all sizes up there. I have gift boxes. I have tissue paper. I have uh, gift bows, all that kind of stuff. I have some of her birthday stuff that she doesn't use on a daily basis. I have over there, I have... Um, some paperwork stuff and things like that. Her flat iron, we don't use that like ever. So again, another area that we utilize as storage and it's vertical space so it's not taking up room on the floor. So here's another storage solution, bookshelves. Bookshelves are great, but not only are they, you know, functional, they can be decorative as well. But for us, we don't just use our bookshelves to put books. We also use it as a place to store our video, ga video games, our um, games, Monopoly, Life, things of that nature. We use it to store all the kids' extra art supplies, crayons, paint, extra school supplies like um, markers, scissors, erasers, and then paint brushes. So this has been a really great area for us to utilize as extra place where we can keep and organize all of our games and extra kid items. Here is another area that we do utilize as storage. I'm in our all-purpose room. This room serves as our office and the kids playroom. And we have a futon in here. And underneath the futon, we have a ton of space. So instead of letting this space go to waste, I figured I could utilize the space under our futon. You can't see it. It's out of the way. And it's perfect for storing items and keeping my house organized. We have the kids' art supplies down here, extra papers, extra art things, um, things of that nature that they utilize on a daily basis. And then I have all my husband's extra cords and electronic stuff. I have extra school supplies over there, extra notebooks and things of that nature. We have our weights over there. And then at the back, I also utilize it for storage for extra items that we don't use on a daily basis. So this turned out to be the perfect solution to use for all those extra stuff that we have that we have no idea where to put them. We don't use them on a daily basis. We don't need them on a daily basis, but we don't want to part with them because one day they might come in handy. So that's what we do with under the area of our futon. We use it as storage to keep my small space organized and tidy. Another storage area is this three-tiered organizer that I got a couple years ago from my husband's aunt. And this has been so, so, so useful. It stores so many stuff. It stores office supplies. It stores extra knickknacks, glasses, the kids' extra artworks. It stores um, my husband's important paperwork in that pretty box over there. Some... Just a bunch of random knickknacks, batteries, things of that nature, things that we have to access, but not like every single day. I keep on the bottom two shelves and then things that we access more regularly, I keep up the top. So this has been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful for storage for us in this small space. This used to be our office, so it does not come with a closet. So we had to buy a closet system when we converted this to my toddler's bedroom and so up top I do utilize it as well for storage we have that box where I keep all his uh, baby clothes that I don't want to get rid of or part with and at the back in that plastic bag I keep all the clothes that he's about to grow into and then that little uh, gift bag I keep a lot of his artwork and um, things of that nature so this has been a perfect solution as well for storage in his bedroom here is another storage idea so if you have a table that has a opening at the bottom or even like a little area at the bottom Use that as extra storage because if you're living in a small space, that's the one thing you lack. 
you lack storage space. And if you can utilize the bottom of tables and desks and things of that nature for storage, utilize it. So under here, I keep my husband's, um, the PlayStation 3 box, but it has other items in it. Eventually, I want to get bins for all of these things, but for now, the boxes seem to work. And obviously, he does want to get rid of that box in case he wants to sell the PlayStation one day. So we utilize that as extra storage. And then on top of that box, we keep all his cameras. So perfect place for storage and to keep all that stuff out of the way, safe from the kids because they don't come in here and go under there to play with that stuff. And it just keeps the place looking neat. In our living room, we have an entertainment center. And this is where we store all of our... Um, entertaining needs so we have all our dvds and we even have a couple of vhs's down there we have everything to do with the playstation we have everything to do with the wii everything to do with the dvds so with all our dvd movies and things of that nature we store down there and then anything extra that has to do with any kind of entertaining we also store down here we also have boxes in here that we store extra uh, games and stuff in um, just to keep things a little bit more organized because it stores quite a bit of stuff and I keep it organized by just keeping things in their section all right so I'm in my kitchen and another place obviously this probably is something that everybody does in their house if they have a small space like we do, they utilize the top of the refrigerator and we utilize the top of our pantry as well for storage. So the top of the refrigerator, we do use that to store like extra food, like breads and things of that nature. And then I also store my cooler up there because it just seems to be the perfect place. And then on top of our pantry, because again, it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling, I do use that as extra storage for things that I have that don't fit in the cabinet. And then I also use it for storing the kids' milk boxes. So that has worked out perfectly for us. Another area that I've already shown in a video is the area in my laundry room. I have a shelf up there that I use to store a lot of extra clothes that um, I'm saving for my toddler that he's going to grow into. And then extra decorative things that I don't necessarily need, decorative things for different holidays, I store in there as well to just keep them close at hand and easy access. I also, in my laundry room, have a dresser unit. Not a dresser unit, it's like a storage unit. And I store a lot of things in there as well. Okay, so this is the storage unit I was talking about that I have in my laundry room. Of course, up top, I store like laundry detergent and a couple of, you know, decorative knickknacks. But I keep it pretty clear just in case I need to use it to like put laundry baskets and stuff with clothes and things of that nature. But then I also store a lot of items down here that I don't necessarily need, like our tent and things of that nature in here. Um, I try to keep it uh, clear and clutter free because I don't want it to get really cluttered and kind of um, disorganized. So I keep things organized inside of there and I don't store a ton of items in there, but I do use it as storage and it has come in so handy to store extra things in here that we don't have room for in our house. So here's another area that I utilize for storage. This is under the sink area in my laundry room. It's just like this big open area and I thought it would be perfect to store extra items that I don't have room for in my house. I have a lot of kids. I have four kids. They come home with a ton of paperwork and a lot of it I don't want to throw away. So this is where I store a lot of those items. Um, all my extra, my old planners that I obviously I'm not going to throw away. I store in here as well. Um, it's just the perfect place to store those items because a lot of the things are just sentimental. And eventually when my kids get older, they might want their old artwork or things that they've done in kindergarten or first grade or whatever. And so I go through those papers at the end of each school year and I throw away what's not necessary, what's not needed or what's really not important. And then I keep the things that they want to hold on to or the things that I want to hold on to just to kind of get rid of some of the clutter, but also also to keep the most important items and then I store them out here in this area. I also have this area right here right beside the washing machine in this little corner there's like this little space and I put this box here and I store some of their old notebooks and again some 
um, important school things that I don't want to get rid of that I want to save for them I store right here as well you know no nonsense storage that I have for anyone who has a small space especially if you have a small kitchen you don't have a ton of cabinet space like I don't have a ton of cabinet space I use my oven as storage so under there I have like my cupcake mold pans that I don't use on a daily basis so I just store them over there and then I use I have my crock pot that I also store in my oven. And then underneath my oven and the drawer that they have under each oven, um, I also have things there that I store, like extra Tupperware things that I don't use for food. I use those as organizational items. I store those under there as well. So that's another idea. You're not using your oven every single day, so it works great for um, storage. And because I'm not storing like a bunch of stuff in here, it's easy to take this stuff out and then put it back when I'm done. Also in my kitchen, I have this little kitchen caddy. Again, I don't have a lot of cabinet space, so I need all the storage I can get. I do use this to store a bunch of items. So under the bottom, I use it to store a couple of pictures and stuff. And then the second row, those Tupperware bins, I use as organizational purposes. So I store like plastic um, Ziploc bags in those and plastic spoons and things of that nature. I store potatoes in here and then my husband has some chia seeds in there. And then up top is where I store the things that we grab for the most. So paper napkins, um, garlic, onions and tomatoes, and then our oil that we used to cook with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you might have gotten some ideas on how to come up with uh, creative storage solutions in your small space. Again, some of these ideas were kind of like run-of-the-mill, no-nonsense, practically everybody does it, and then some you might have not thought of. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watched, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!